Hello booktube, my name is Kate and this is my channel Chapter Kate. Today I'm going to be talking about books because it's most of what this channel is. Except for when it's not. Okay, so today I'm going to be talking about books, but I'm going to be talking about masks because I work at a hospital so I've been wearing a mask every single day to work and so I know a lot of people have had to do this because this is the world at the moment. <laughs> Some people can work from home but those of us that have to you know go out and have to wear a mask every day we understand the the struggle of that. It's not a fun time, necessary but not fun. My job specifically is a music therapist <laughs> so I talk and I sing all day. It's not easy to do with the some over your face, your whole breathing area. Not, not an easy thing. So yeah, no, I'm gonna be recommending, actually no, these aren't recommendations. These aren't recommendations. I'm going to be talking about books and masks. I'm going to be comparing books to masks, maybe? Yeah, sure, we're gonna go with that. They don't look alike, so don't think we're gonna get all matchy-matchy up in here, because that's not what this party is. <laughs> no. This is sleep deprivation, because I haven't really slept well all week. That's what this is. I may be wearing masks throughout this video. If you typically read lips, uh, I will be captioning this video. I don't even know how to start, so let's go. So first we're gonna go with this old boy. For some reason it smells like... like sugary popcorn. I don't, I don't know why it smells this way. I have, I have sanitized all of these. I've sprayed them all down with um, stuff and let them dry. So I'm not sure why it smells like sweet popcorn. Hmm. A good old surgical mask, I guess. I, I don't, I think that's what this is. These were given to us by the hospital where I work. When we started having to wear masks, they gave us these. They still have these, you know. This old boy right here smells bad. Where was I gonna go with this? So this mask is understated, but very effective, as shown by studies of science. Understated, but very effective. So I feel that the perfect match for this mask is The Fifth Season by N.K. Jemisin. My reasoning is that this cover would not have attracted me. Um, it's very understated. It's not ugly. It's just very understated. I would not have, you know, been scanning the aisles and this one pop out at me, you know, it just doesn't have that BAM, you know. But even though this mask is not the most exciting, it is very effective. And this book, even though it doesn't look the most exciting on the outside, is amazing on the inside. Yes. N.K. Jemisin's world building and character building is absolutely astronomical. The science of like the magic in this, the characters, the places, the politics, everything is just so well done in this. Mm. Next we have this thing. It's... <laughs> I don't... I do not like it. <laughs> it's like... <laughs> it has the metal so you can kind of do that, but it doesn't really stay on your face very well. Yeah, so I don't think I'd ever wear this. <laughs> I really don't. Oh no. I, I don't know. Oh gosh. This was actually given to us by my mother-in-law. She sprayed and cleaned them as well and, and passed it along. Oh my gosh, I hate it so much. It doesn't stay on my face. Like, the more I talk, it just kind of scoots on down my face. This would never go at work because I talk all day. <laughs> so, <laughs> there's this. Um, and also, it just smells bad. It smells really bad. Um, the trick, though, is it looks like it would be such an effective little thing, but it smells terrible, and I will never ever use this. I'll never wear this anywhere. So I feel like the book match for this mask is this really old and really ugly version of Frankenstein that I found recently. Look at it. It's got like his, his hands just, you know, doing its thing and it's like this weird purple. It's not, it's just not, it's not great. I got it just because I love Frankenstein and I wanted another copy of it and it smells real bad. I'm probably never gonna read it because it smells bad but I just wanted to have it. Is there a there was a bug on it, too. So, what if there's a bug on the mask? We'll never use. We'll probably never read. Both smell bad. We were given this just so we would have one. I got this just because I wanted another copy. Yep. And then we have this lovely number. Mm. This one's got, like, music notes on it in their different colors. See that? It's like a rainbow, but only part of the rainbow. Only the warm colors in the rainbow, I suppose. I had been looking for a music note mask for a while, and then apparently someone at my work was making 
masks and a coworker of mine was like talking about it and she was like yeah there was this music note mask and I was like I was looking for a music note mask and so yeah that happened and the, how my elbow just popped <laughs> falling apart but then one day I came in and we had these little mailboxes at work and it was just like sitting in my mailbox and I was like ah and it was a gift so I, I love it because it was a gift but also I love it because it's a great mask it's very heavy duty it has these really tough little numbers here that they kinda hurt your ear after a while but they're great it's a great mask so for this one I'm going to talk about the cruel prince you know why no because I haven't said it yet because I loved Holly Black's Tithe trilogy and I was like wow this is so great I enjoy dark fairy stories and then this was given to me as a present that I wasn't expecting I wanted dark fairy books just like I wanted a music note mask but I didn't really ask for it but then it was given to me and it was a surprise and it was exciting and I love it and I'm thankful for it so that is why I'm talking about the Cruel Prince. <laughs> what is this video? I forgot how pretty these books are underneath the covers. <laughs> like, they're really pretty. Oh, goodness. Then we have this mask, which is actually my favorite, probably, mask. But I ordered this one on Etsy. Look at it. It's got little gray music notes all up in it. You see that? This is my favorite mask. However, I threw it in the washer. And instead of letting it kind of dry itself, or like instead of washing it by hand, I put it in the washer and the dryer, and it bent it all up and mangled everything. So the actually underside looks terrible. And I had to use my straightener to like try and flatten it out some, because it completely ruined it. Like, I mean, I was able to fix it, and you can't actually tell. Why am I blurry? this thing doesn't want to recognize that I have a face because I'm wearing a mask. Yeah, I'm gonna have to do that. <laughs> I'm gonna have to do this because it won't like recognize my face. So let's talk about this, this beautiful book right here, The Hobbit. Um, isn't it great? This is my husband's copy. It's very special to him. His aunt gave it to him when he was young. So it's his favorite. However, uh, when we first got our, our dog, our, our little puppy, um, she was eating everything, and so if you, if you look right here, there's like an unfortunate um, situation on page 211. I'm just gonna put that back in there. But I just put it back in there, and you can't you can't tell if I just close the book up, and it looks just looks just great, just like my mask. It's just it's perfect. I feel terrible. It wasn't me. I didn't you know. But. I still feel really bad about it because I noticed it. I didn't say anything because I don't want him to be sad. Shh. Speaking of my husband, this is his mask. It's okay. We kiss each other, so I I think I'm okay to touch the handle of the mask. But the thing is, I would never wear this mask, and I will never read this book that is also his. This is Leviathan Wakes by James A. Corey. It's on Prime. You can watch it also. The Expand series. It's an original. Prime original series. <laughs> yeah, that's how those connect. This is his little mask. Look at it. No makeup on it. So pure. So wholesome. Then we have this mask. It's very crinkly because it's, it's still in the, the wrapping. I technically work for a state organization. Yeah. And so they sent us all these masks, which are really stupid. Like, okay, they're not stupid. They're great. They're fine. But, like, the material is literally just, like, they, they just, I don't, it's really bad. It's a really bad material. And it's ugly. But that's not the point, okay? It's, it just is. It's, I haven't opened it up, okay? I was excited when I got it in the mail, but I haven't opened it yet. Which is just, like, this, <laughs> this little number. Middle Game by Shannon McGuire. Uh, I was so excited when I got this in the mail, but just like this one, I have not opened it yet. Um... I've seen a lot of people wear this at work. I've seen a lot of people read this online. Haven't had the experience myself. Um, still pretty excited about this one. Not so much this one. Yes, here we go. Look at this tiny mask. Like, it only covers, like, the bare minimum, which is... That's what kind of smells good. Mm. 
But yeah, now here's this. Uh, I got this at the pharmacy. I was going there to get medication because that's what you get at the pharmacy. But yeah. Um, <laughs> but I wasn't expecting to get this mask and I did because I was in there and I saw it and I was like, I'm really tired of wearing those ugly but very efficient hospital masks. So I got this thing. I picked this one because it was like attractive because it was green and the other ones were not, they were pink and they didn't quite fit my aesthetic. I have since worn this to a protest and I wore it to work a lot and I wore it to a conference. It was very, very useful and it was very great. I wasn't expecting to like it. It was very, you know, unassuming, but it caught my eye at some point and I was like, you know what? I'm gonna get that mask and I did. Here we go. A similar thing could be said about Binti by Nnedi Okorafor. This is a trilogy, actually. I can't remember what all three of them are called, all three of the books. I read them all. They were really great. Binti Sacred Fire, Binti Home, and Binti the Night Masquerade. Mysterious. This actually was really awesome. This was an awesome trilogy. Also, this had really, really good PTSD representation, which I was like, I don't see enough of that. But this is cool. It takes place in space, which is always great. And also a lot of aspects of the book are inspired by the author's Nigerian heritage, which is always cool. I love any book inspired by people's heritage. Cause I don't know mine. I can make some guesses, but, but they're, they're probably, probably incorrect. incorrect. This is one of my more recent masks and it is so, so very soft. I love it because the texture, it's also cool cause it's got like a, tie-dye situation going on, but I like it because it's soft. That's my favorite thing about it is the texture. Not unlike this Vaisen, Spirits and Monsters of Scandinavian Folklore, collected and illustrated by Johan Ekekrans. Hey, it's Ouroboros. It's significant if you've read Mexican Gothic recently. So I picked this because it too has a cool texture. It's like cloth. It's all cloth whatnot and stuff. It's, it's really neat. And it's it's got really pretty pictures in it that are kind of cool and and kind of kind of dark and stuff. Just like this mask has a edgyish vibe. I I don't know. Also, this book came from Switzerland, and this mask came from the long off city of somewhere else. That mask actually kind of has a twin. See, look at this. Look at this buddy of that mask. It too is very soft and has a very cool texture, but it also kind of looks like ink blot tests, which is why I picked this edition of Watchmen. Look at that. Ooh, look at it move. So mesmerizing. What do you see up in this face of he? This is a cool like anniversary edition. Anyway, I hate myself. And here we have this shiny boy right here. Look at it. So shiny, so flashy, so elegant, so intriguing. So this one is definitely gorgeous. It catches your eye. A lot of people like it. A lot of people see it and notice it. But also, these things can come off. And apparently, they can also stab you in the eyes. So it's also a little dangerous. So this mask goes quite well with HP Lovecraft. Do you see this? This is a beautiful addition. It's got some shiny gold foiling. Is that what I'm trying to say? Yes, foiling, whatnot, going on here. But also, like a lot of people know about this. But also, it too is a little dangerous because racism is threaded throughout the pages. I actually personally have not read Lovecraft. I've read things talking about Lovecraft. I have not read Lovecraft myself. I don't know how much of his bigotry actually comes through on the page, but I'm sure it's there. An author's work is part of them, and whoever they are as a person influences that writing in some way. And then we have this scarfy boy right here. Yeah, this is one of those... <laughs> I'm laughing because I think my husband tried this on at some point because it smells like him. <laughs> so here's this one. I got this one because it looked very aesthetically pleasing. I thought it was cool looking, but yeah, no. Eventually, however, uh, we found out, you know, because of science and studies and whatnot, though it's pretty, it's ultimately useless, which is why I'm pairing it with the Hazelwood, which is gorgeous. So pretty, so full of hope, so full of disappointment. Just nothing, 
just nothing there. Just no substance. It just seems like there should be something there. It has the elements, but it's just... I just but those are all of my masks as books. I don't know what I'm doing. I think I I think it's just not getting enough actual air in my <laughs> into my brain <laughs> from all the mask wearing. <laughs> but yeah, there we go. We're gonna be done now. Thank you so much for watching. Tell me which mask was your favorite of all of the ones that I wore. I don't know if you want to tell me about the books or not, because I didn't really talk about them that much. But tell me which masks were your favorite. Or if you have nothing to say, leave me a nice emoji. And if you'd like a video with more substance, please check out my book review discussion video. What kind of book reviewer are you? Do you read critically or do you read to feel good? Or maybe you're the mysterious third type of reader. Watch the video to find out. That's all. If you would like more of this junk, subscribe below. Bye! Dripping over shadows and I'm drowning in the night. Fight.